Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversation. Revealing Jesus' messianic identity in the Gospel of Mark. This lecture focuses on the Gospel of Mark and its portrayal of Jesus as the Messiah. The New Testament contains multiple perspectives on Jesus and the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, each offers unique elements. Mark's Gospel is the shortest and likely the first to be written. It sets high expectation for readers with its opening line declaring, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The term gospel refers to good news, and in Mark, it signifies a narrative in which Jesus overcomes evil and announces the arrival of God's kingdom. Mark refers to Jesus as Christ, meaning the Anointed One or Messiah. This title implies that Jesus is a king, paralleling the anointing of King Saul, and King David in the Old Testament. The expression Son of God also has royal connotations based on God's promise to David's descendant in the second book of Samuel, chapter 7. Mark's Gospel begins with John the Baptizer, who resembles the prophet Elijah and prepares the way for the coming king. The baptism of Jesus is portrayed as a moment of divine revelation where he is declared God's beloved son. The concept of the kingdom of God is central in Mark's gospel, but its exact meaning is not explicitly defined by Jesus. The hope for a restored kingdom of Israel, characterized by peace and harmony, is intertwined with the idea of God's reign. Jesus acts as a commander, gathering followers, and engaging in battles against evil forces. The kingdom is associated with healing and restoration of life as seen in the miracles performed by Jesus. Jesus' teachings are often conveyed through parables, short stories that contain lessons and figurative sayings. The parables in Mark's Gospel emphasize the mystery of God's kingdom baffling listeners and highlighting the challenges of receiving and living out the message. Despite the obstacles, some people do respond to the message and bear fruit. Chapters 8 and 10 of Mark's Gospel explore themes of suffering and service. Jesus asked his disciples about his identity and Peter acknowledges him as the Christ. Jesus then explains the necessity of his suffering and death, emphasizing the importance of self-sacrifice and service. These chapters delve into the paradoxical nature of Jesus' mission, where greatness is found in humility and servanthood. Overall, Mark's Gospel presents Jesus as the long-awaited Messiah, the Son of God who brings good news and establishes God's kingdom. The narrative highlights his divine identity, battles against evil, and teaching on the mystery of the kingdom, emphasizing themes of healing, restoration, suffering, and service. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for joining us in this enlightening journey through the Gospel of Mark. As we've discovered, Mark's portrayal of Jesus is not just his historical account, but a powerful exploration of his divine mission as the Messiah. Next time, we'll delve into episode 27, where we confront the paradox of the cross and the glory of the resurrection. It is an episode that promises to deepen our understanding of the suffering, death, and ultimate triumph of Jesus. Make sure to review the materials, bring your insights, and prepare for a profound discussion. 
Until then, keep reflecting on the good news as Mark presents it and join us again for more explorations into the richness of biblical literature. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notification on your latest uploads. Peace and wisdom be with you until we meet again.